to be honest, it was completely by mistake. I was walking past the Bung's machine the one day and he had his little notepad open, these beautiful little drawings that he's got in there. And I asked him, have you got any more drawings? And he started going through showing me some drawings. And then he went onto his computer and, he sh and there was this black and white, it was a charcoal drawing, a, a street scene in Joburg. And I said to him, you know what, you just put a charcoal, he was just joking, I said, you just put a charcoal bag there and you've got a, you've got a really nice print campaign. And that's kind of how it started. Then we started throwing ideas around and trying to come up with uh, different executions, things like that. You know, as creatives do, we blazed ahead and we came up with a whole bunch of executions and we started putting layouts together and we realized, oh, but we don't have the client. So then uh, it dawned on me that Safari Charcoal is down in Georgia. We go there every single December with my wife's family's got a farm down there. So I said, well, let's just knock on the guy's door and ask permission. So we went down there and um, my family was waiting in the bucky while well, I was, uh, organized a meeting with, with Peter Reinstall from Safari Charcoal. And he was gracious enough to say, oh, he loved the work and let's, let's go ahead and let's, let's do it. And then a couple months later, because we had to fit it in between everything else, a few months later after Bung drawing, drawing his heart out, we arrived or narrowed it down to four executions. One's called uh, Beach, one's Mountain, the other one's called Football, and the other one's called Township. And it just shows a, a wide range of South African life and what brings people together is a braai. And, um, I think my favorite thing of the whole thing is that we're actually using the product from the bag to draw the, the pictures themselves. And that, we're hoping, is the thing that really makes this campaign truly South African and truly unique. I've started doing printmaking at the Artist Proof Studio. Then I got a, a bursary to study at the Vets Technicon. And subsequent to that, uh, I was sponsored by William Kentridge and uh, Patty Suzman, who's the daughter of Helen Suzman, to uh, study at Vega. I've always drawn uh, for a very long time and uh, using charcoal and uh, mixed media drawings on uh, boards and uh, uh, experimenting with a lot of techniques and uh, trying to. Uh, come up with ways that I can uh, expand my work in different ways technically. Well first we decided on the uh, themes to, to work with and uh, uh, working with uh, different scenes uh, in South Africa. Uh, we, we looked at the Chisanyama, the, the landscapes and out, out in the coast and your know, uh, uh, soccer theme. So out of that we, we, we did a few sketches experimenting and uh, trying to work uh, ways that we can put them together in, in the composition. From body, a, a series of six drawings, we had to narrow it down. Each took about uh, uh, three to four days working consistently. Well, there's nothing worse than a print campaign, just living as a print campaign and nothing else coming of it. So we thought, well, how could we extend the campaign and also engage with the consumers and the South African people? Every South African has had a bra. A bra is unique to South Africa and everyone has a story to share. So the campaign actually evolved around the line, which is the best South African moments are made with charcoal. So we thought, well, why don't they submit their photographs to us? Um, on the hashtag Safari Bra, and then we'll make a selection and possibly 12 will be selected. Those will be mortalized into charcoal, thanks to Tabung's fantastic artwork. From that we could auction those photographs um, that have been uh, immortalized into charcoal off. The proceeds we could possibly donate to Children of Fire, who is another pro bono account of the Jupiter Drawing Room. And further to that, we could possibly the next year take those artworks and create a calendar out of them. And that becomes yet another campaign. And so the whole campaign has legs. It's not just one drawing, a once-off sketch, and that's where the campaign ends.